edition of Spotlights on Broadway. I'm Holly Mo. On this show, we bring you very wonderful Nigerian celebrities who over the time we have come to love for the different things they do in their field. We put them on the spot to ask them different questions that on a normal day they wouldn't want to answer. Different random questions on their personal lives, secrets they don't want to share with us, um, scandals and every single thing that will make their name pop up on the internet. We're going to go in on a short break, and by the time we return, I'll be presenting to you who we have in the studio. Don't go nowhere. Welcome back, guys. Before I went on the break, I told you I was going to be bringing someone very important to the studio. Today, we have somebody who has starred in so many blockbusters. She's well known in the movie industry and is known specially for her special endowments. Ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome the one and only Halima Abubakar. <laughs> Hello, Halima. How are you? Very so well. So all this description for me alone. Yes, no, uh-uh. Yeah, You're yeah. what now? <laughs> so, um, Halima, what has the success story been? How has it been right from when you started to now? How did you grow into this? Oh well, I started acting when I was 13 okay. and um, I went to school, you know, back and forth. I spent seven years out of uh, the industry and I came back in 2010. Okay. And um, so all those movies you're hearing, they're basically from 2010 to 2010. Oh, really? I was a young actress, child oh. actress, yeah, so I grew in the business. Okay. So um, it's been very difficult for um, a northerner to blow into Nollywood mainstream. How difficult or how easy has it been since you're now a known Nollywood actress? It's not easy. Anybody that tells you it's easy is lying. It's not easy. For two solid years, I didn't even get a role. And I go for every audition, every... It's not easy. How was it going for auditions then? And then now when you remember the years when I going for auditions, What's the reflection like? Well, it's not easy because, you know, finally I will put myself graduated and um, I'm a producer now, okay. you know, so I give the job to the upcoming ones, you know, okay. whenever I had a chance because I didn't have a chance. There's nobody, the whole of entertainment or Nollywood that would say, oh, I made Halima a star. No, I did it on my own. Oh, okay, so you're going to tell me that you didn't have people bully you on your way to the top. You just. I had. Okay, so tell us about the bullies you had on your way to the top. Um, people I thought, you know, were on good terms with, like, hi, hello, how have you been, good. And then suddenly somebody calls me and tells me, she said that they shouldn't give you the role. I'm like, why? She said that, okay, I'll do it free. They said no. And another time, uh, someone said, honey, why you stayed so long in Nollywood? Why don't you branch out and do something? I didn't take that as a positive idea advice you know okay. I, uh, when I was driving home like oh this person say this that broke my heart but you know the person is like no that's not what I meant what I meant is that maybe you should produce or maybe you should do I'm like that wasn't what you said she said I should leave Nollywood because I'm not making it oh. and today she denied it but it's okay because you know all this distraction are what made me Halima you know okay. I didn't wait I wasn't discouraged, though I left for a long time and even became depressed because oh. I lost money. I wasn't making money. As a young actress, how much did they pay? 10000 Before I get home, it's finished. Do you understand? Yeah. So I started from 1005 2000 3000 5000 5, 5000 sometimes they owe me. I said I have over 60000 that people have not paid me oh. back 10 years ago. 10000 So it's not easy. That's why it's very hard for a lot of young artists to break through. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we still have Aluma, Halima Abubakar in the studio. We're going to be going on a short break, and by the time we return, we still have more questions to ask Halima. Don't go nowhere. about Yoruba boys and all that and all that. Have you dated any Yoruba guy? Yeah. Okay, so what do you feel? Do you think it's right what people are saying about Yoruba boys? Yoruba men? 
What did they say about them? They are demons. Nobody wants to them to break hearts and all that. Really? I'm a heartbreaker too. Oh, that's so nice. Now he was very wonderful. He he actually he he is one of the best um, lovers that I've had. One of I'm not gonna say admitted to people or something. That's like he's one of the nicest person. So you feel it's wrong to call? No, everyone is not the same. So I mean, he treated me well, so I have no reason to you know uh, conclude about his. Uh, So what has been the weirdest demand a producer has ever asked you? Sex. So have you had lots of this request? Or I've spent how many years in Hollywood? In fact, I told you they are still owing me. What do you think is the reason why they are owing me? <laughs> if I go to collect the money, it will be in the bedroom. So I left the money for them. Oh, you know, okay. but they were all denied. Right, right. So what is your take on abortion? That's wrong. That's like committing murder. Don't take care of a child, don't get pregnant, don't have sex. What exactly? Why are you even having sex? You're a teenager. Why do you need to uh, uh, waste someone's life? People think, oh, okay, it's one month, two months, it's still the blood, 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 blood. That's a child. And that child could become anything in your life, but you abort it. Tomorrow, if you don't have, you know, if you have problems, you're broke, nothing works for you, remember, you kill the child. So, abortion is not known. Okay, so Hailey Models, this time you we did a documentary on bullying. Is there a background story to um, bullying or you just felt it was something you needed to tackle? No, I went through all that in secondary school. Because of that, I changed schools over eight times. Wow. My sister can at least uh, testify to that. My dad was very tired because I keep complaining about the schools. You know, they take my provisions, they don't allow me to sleep in my own bunk. So I sleep on the floor. And um, if I sleep too much, somebody will just pour me water for no reason. And then in, in university, it was crazy because I started from diploma in Barrow University in Kano. And uh, I wasn't a fly girl, I wasn't a hip hop chick, I wasn't popular in school. Okay. But all the popular girls think I don't deserve to be in their all stay in the same room. So, how did I get that accommodation if I'm not in the same league with you? I'm not even dragging any. You know, leave with you. There's no money involved. There's no lesson in it. I would just sit down and be listening to, you know, gossips and rubbish. And really, it wasn't something that I wanted to bother myself. So I left the hostel to another hostel. You know, okay. in Byron University we have uh, red bricks, and we have um, old side. I was in old side, and uh, the the hostel is like the whole of this hotel with the bunk bed. So everybody is seeing everybody's business oh. when you come in. You're seeing every negative, positive eyes in the whole city. So I'm telling you, it's like Jesus one and two. Okay. I mean, first time as a diploma is two years. So first and second time for my degree, I went to New side. It was horrible, darling. I had to leave uh, uh, the campus and um, started going for my house. But still, when they see me anywhere, they slap me. They tell me you're very stupid. You think because you've acted before, you're more than us. <laughs> to fight back like oh yeah, yeah, yeah. after three years at that point i was tired so yeah I, I did okay so right now we know you're a peace ambassador we know you're doing some charity so would you want to like shed more light on what you're doing right now okay we just um got that money for somebody with uh with uh heart disease and the other one had um kidney problems and a child who has uh, cancer of the eyes wow. and um, it's really charity is not something that you do for fun charity is not about you buying into me water and take to them that's not what they want they want money to take care of these kids um, I, I take food to the village i take water but to, i actually water is my passion so i want everybody to be hydrated most of the time you see me carrying cartons and cartons and cartons of water because they are starving and the water they are taking is so dirty there is no alum to put you know for it to be clear so they just drink the water that way and that's disease on its own and you never can say what causes 
cancer because at the end of the day nobody really knows. Okay. They say water is the foundation of life, you take it, cancer. When you take, in fact, you know, everything is upside down right now. So yeah, uh, my charity has taught over 29 states now okay. in Nigeria. Uh, we started uh, in Kano and I went to Bogi uh, in December with G1 and YQ because they're all from Kogi. Okay. So I usually take some celebrities with me to go for charity. Uh, the musicians play for the kids. You know, they all dance happy and all that. Doing children's day, vacation day. In fact, all the breaks, we do something for the kids. Okay. You know, so I'm proud of that. that I'm, I've been able to do a lot uh, over the past 10 years. I've been recognized uh, by the whole of the humanitarian agency with titles. Okay guys, with um, it's been fun having Alima go back at the studio. We're going to be going on another short break and by the time we come back, I'm going to be putting Alima on the spot. Don't go nowhere. So right now, we're going to do something we've not seen you do before on TV. I'm going to give you a list of songs. So you're going to pick one of them and sing for us. Huh. I hope I don't uh, embarrass the nation. <laughs> Alright, so you have options of picking uh, Melo Melo by Olamide. Ata Melo Melo by Olamide. Ata by Flavor. Connect by Fino. And Lagos Boys by Olamide. So pick. I don't know the songs. None. Tell me one. Okay, sing one of the songs you love most. We just want to hear you sing. <coughs> hmm, okay, I know the mellow, 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 you have Olamide, and then you have Fino. So who would you marry? None. Yeah, no. Who would you kill? Because I don't know them so long. Okay, so maybe I should give you other options. Yeah, options. Let me see. Okay, if you're to kill, marry, and shag, you know Liu Cash. If you're to, let me change it. If you're to kill, marry, and shag, that's one Elliot. You said Mary, what Mary is and Shark. Shark, Shark, as in Shark. Yeah, Shark. Yeah. It's uncensored. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, uh, we have Desmond Elliott. You have Amy Kai K. And then you have Nosso Diobi. So, if you're to marry, who would you marry? Is that my collection? Yeah, I'm married. It doesn't matter. If you had the opportunity to marry one of them. Hmm. Do you want them to go on the screen? I like it! Oh, okay, if we can get them, that means you're shagging between Desmond Elliott and also Jimmy. Oh, no, none of them. So you just kill, you just want to kill one of them. You ask a question and that's an honest answer. Uh, so let me ask you this final question. Between Jelly Bean and Omotela Chagade, who do you think is greater? Okay, this is. Uh, very personal and sentimental question but I'm sorry darlings I love you you know that but I'm gonna go with Omotola okay do you have reasons why you feel she's greater than she's anyway? hubby moral <laughs> she's pleasant number two I work separately with her okay and uh, I've seen a lot of her movies she's deep okay what should we be expecting from you in 2016 oh more movies more charity work more I'm going to do a lot of uh, speech, you know, keynotes to schools, okay. schools uh, with public and private. I'm going to release my book. I'm an author. And, oh. uh, very soon, I'm going to be a publisher of a lifestyle magazine. Okay. It's my own auto, you know, biography. So I have my three books coming out in before my birthday. My birthday is in June. Oh. So yeah, and I have movies that I've shot that I've not, uh, uh, you know. 
you know, released uh, until I'm asked to do so okay. by um, TSCB. So uh, I'm going to design more content to provide us, so I'm going to provide a lot of entertainment to the nation. Okay, so we know you have lots of fans, so what's the word out to your fans? Uh, don't do drugs, listen to your mother, and make sure you're truthful, because some of you lie. You wear spaghetti in your clothes and then put in the hijab and all that when you go on the street in the moment and you have spaghetti. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't like that. And uh, what? Don't gossip. Gossip actually creates a lot of um, uh, enemies and you don't want to be involved. You don't want to be mentioned as the person who said that because you're going to be blacklisted seriously. When you come into a room, everybody's going to run because you gossip too much. So uh, don't borrow clothes from anybody. Don't tell your secrets to anybody. And when you come into an industry or the kind of work you want to do, make sure you're just all about the work. Like I said, don't put anyone down because when they catch you, you will lose your job. All right, Halima, do you have like Instagram account, Twitter? You want your fans to follow you? Oh, okay, yeah, follow me because you know I have a lot of interesting things that you would learn in life, and I'm goofy, so you can follow me. On Instagram at Halima Booker, on Twitter same name at Halima Booker. Together, no two A, just one A. And then on IG, same thing. On my Snap, Halima Booker, Nollywood Halima. So uh, I'm not on Facebook, so do not be duped. It is not me. I don't have a Facebook account. I have about 20 accounts on Facebook. None of them is mine. So please be careful. That's all. Okay, thank you very much, Halima Babaka, for spending your time with us. You. It was fun to have you in the studio. Um, guys, we've come to the end of the show. My name is Holly Mo. I hope you enjoyed the little chit chats we had with Halima Babaka. We'll be joining you some other time next week. Do have a